Okay, everybody, so today um, we're going to continue with our tutorials. Today we're going to make a bottle. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to open Rhinoceros and we're going to have it on small object centimeters. So that's the first thing we're, we're going to do. Now, on Rhinoceros, you see that um, I already have something here on my front and right view. That's exactly what we're going to do. So the first thing that I need you to do is download from the internet any um, picture of a bottle. It can be Coke, it can be any bottle that you like. And we are going to start making our bottle. So as soon as you save it on your hard drive, you are going to maximize the front view. You're going to right click on front view and we're going to go to background bitmap. Now on background bit bitmap, we are going to pre uh, click on place. Now here, you're going to choose the bottle that, that you have saved before. Okay, now I have my, my Coke bottle there, and what I'm going to do is that I am going to create it around any place on the front view. Okay, so what, what I want uh, from the bottle is it's actually just the curves around the bottle. So I'm only going to start making the curves around the bottle with curve. Okay, so I'm going to click on Curve. Remember to have Planner activated and take off Snap because otherwise you won't be able to trace the curves very well. So you're going to start off with um, with Planner only activated. And we are going to zoom in as much as possible and we're going to start creating our um, bottle. So I started below the cap that way it's easier for me so I'm gonna start clicking clicking around the bottle like so I can trace it very carefully okay after I have finished my uh, curve I can just hide the background image now after I finish that I'm gonna right click on front view I'm gonna go to background bitmap and say hide now I should have the curve of my bottle. As you see here, the bottle shows starting below the cap and I have till the till the center of the of the bottle in the bot in the bottom. Okay? So here I have my curve and this is where I'm gonna start. Okay? Now let's minimize the front view and let's see what's gonna happen. Okay? Now, there's a really cool tool that we are going to use today, and it's called Revolve. Revolve is for making diff like different curves and making a surface around one of the, with with the same curve. So we're gonna go to Transform. Oh, I'm sorry. We're gonna go to Surface, and in Surface we have the option Revolve. So here it says select curves to revolve. Now I'm gonna select the the curve that I just true and I'm going to press enter after that it says start of revolve axis so I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here I can use snap so I can activate snap so it's easier for me so I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and that will be the first the start of the axis and I'm going to go to the top so I can see the so I can go to the end part of the axis. Now, after I click again, it says on the command line, it says start angle. So I'm going to move to the to the top view, move to the top view, and I'm going to start on the right. I'm going to make a click, and I'm going to start revolving, like going around, so I can see how the how the bottle is made until I finish. Then I click one more time, and there you go. I have my Sorry, you finish here, you click, and press enter. Okay, so here we go. Now I have the bottle. As you see, I, I, I can see it on rendered, and I can see the bottle on the right. So perfect. Now after this, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a, a cap. Okay? I'm going to make a cap and then I can start renderizing and putting a bunch of things. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a cap. 
And then on the bottom part, as you see a bottle is not always that flat. We're going to change uh, that in a little bit. So, uh, so to put it uh, to cap this hole, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use a tool called patch. That way you can patch different holes. With with patch, what happens is that if you choose a surface, if a hole is a surface, it's not a curve, then the patch will kind of become like like uh, like bulpy, okay. So we're gonna go to solid. We're gonna choose patch, and I want it that way. So I'm sorry, surface patch. That's that's the that's the tool I'm looking for. So I'm gonna go to surface patch, and the command line says select curves and points to fit surface through. So I'm gonna select the curve. I'm gonna Select it from here. So you see, the 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 circle is uh, highlighted. Now I'm going to press Enter when done, and there's a there's a menu where you can choose different properties for this patch. Now in that case, I'm going to choose 75 surface U span and surface V span. They're going to be uh, 32 and 75. Okay. Now I'm going to click on Preview. And let's see what it comes, how it looks like. Now, he tapped the hole, and it looks like kind of like a cap, okay? So here we go. So we have it that way. If you change the U span and the V span, then you'll have different types of caps, okay? And now I'm going to click OK. And here I have the bottle that I need. Now you can renderize it in different ways. Now the last thing I'm going to do really quick is that I'm going to... I am going to cut half of the bottle because I need the half of the bottle to be different from, from the other part. Remember that a Coke bottle has the logo in the middle. So this is very simple. In order to split a surface, I can draw a curve that will split the surface. In my case, I'm going to maximize the front view. Now I'm going to click on a rectangle and I am going to create a rectangle just in the middle of my Coke bottle. Okay. I just need these two lines, okay? Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on split. Okay, there's an option on the left side of the toolbars that says split. Now, it says select objects to split. Now I'm going to select the surface, of course, the bottle, then I'm going to press enter and it says select cutting objects. The select cutting objects are, are going to be these two lines that I created from the rectangle. Then I'm going to press enter again and now if we go to the um, to the perspective view now they're separated. The three parts of the bottle are in different parts. So what you can do is that you can change the layer. You can go to different layers and we're going to make this one the red layer Remember that you have to see it in Ghosted. And the bottom part also belongs to the red layer. And the center can be from another layer. So here we go. Now we have our layers. And our cap, we can change it to a different layer if we want to. Okay, so uh, here you have a very simple bottle that you can create and of course renderize. When you renderize it, remember that you can use glass as a material. Okay? And that's it.